Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm Space Tomato, and this is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to execute a quantum jump as of Star Citizen Alpha 3.4. Now, right now, they haven't implemented too many of the crazy mechanics to quantum jumps, and it's a pretty simple process, but it still can be a little bit confusing. So without further delay, let's jump right in. The first thing to note about quantum jumping is that it's not a loading process. It is an actual movement through the space, and it does mean that you are vulnerable and that you will be using fuel and time to, to uh, execute these quantum jumps. Uh, the, those things are going to become more important, as I said, as they start to implement more mechanics. Um, but quantum fuel is going to be very important, and heat and wear and tear is going to be very important. So overclocking things is going to do some damage to you, and so is overrunning your quantum, uh, quantum drive too much. Now let's go ahead and start out with the first method to execute a quantum jump, and that is going to be to go ahead and on the default key bindings, just hit the B button. That's going to bring up the quantum interface with a lot of different icons. It's really simple, don't worry. The hexagons are your ground targets. These are ground outposts and other things like that. A dotted line means it's on the opposite side of the planetary body you're looking at, which means you're going to have to rotate orbit around that planetary body to get there. A solid line means it's on the same face and you'll simply be thrusted forward into the atmosphere pointing towards that destination. Now, sometimes they still are a little bit over the horizon there, but for the most part this does mean that they are on this side of the planetary body. The diamonds are your space destinations. This includes things like rest stops, comm stations, and orbital markers that are around planets and moons. Two circles means a moon, while one circle means another planet. And last but not least, what I like to call it is sort of a upside-down home plate uh, from baseball. It is, is 100%. Thank you. That would be your major landing zones, like this, Lorville. Now, as you've seen, after I'm pressing the B button and bringing up that interface, when I align with the destination, you can see the calibration rising on the left, and my quantum jump drive is spooled on the top there. Once that's completed, you hit the B button and you're on your way. That is a very simple and fast way to get from point A to point B in a short space. Now, if you need to get across system, that's a little more difficult. Obviously, if I want to go ahead and jump to another planet, like, let's say, Arcorp, I can still do that using this fast and easy method. However, if I wanted to get to Crusader, or well, Crusader, I could still do that. But with Crusader's moons and things like that, you need to take a more modular approach. To do that, go ahead and hit F2 on the default key binding. This will bring up your star map. Right away, I suggest you double tap the right click. This will allow you to come out to this view and really get a sense of the entire system. Now, we're currently in Hurston, the first planet that we've had access to. But, what if we wanted to go over to Crusader? Well, the easiest way to do that is to highlight the planet double click to zoom in and you can set the route to the planet or let's say we wanted to go to Port Olisar. Click it and set route and in this view you'll be able to see that you're going to take two jumps one to the planet and then one to the station and up in the corner here you'll be able to read how much fuel you're going to take. Now this and this might not make sense, <laughs> but <laughs> this might be a little glitched right now. But as of 3.4, this is how it works. Now, it's saying that this first jump out to the orbital marker of Hurston is going to take 277 fuel, which doesn't make much sense, but you get the idea. After you set your route, let's go ahead and set a an easier route, shall we? Let's, uh... This is a little fidgety still. How about we jump to Ida? Same deal. Go ahead and select your destination, hit set route, see your quantum fuel, hit F2, and just like we did with the first method, you align with your destination, your ship will do all the calibrating and calculating that it needs to do, wait for the bars to fill up, and then go ahead and hit quantum hold the B initiated. button to initiate your quantum travel.
quantum travel complete. And you can see right back there where we came from. Thanks for joining me for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something from it. Um, I'm going to keep making these videos to try and help out newcomers and just uh, give people somewhere to go to find out about game mechanics. Uh, go ahead and leave some suggestions in the comments if you want to see a different how-to video or if you just want to see something new. Uh, if you have any feedback or anything like that, please also leave that in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.